<clears throat> this is Mrs. Lofton, your teacher librarian, and I'm going to show you a really easy way to find images that you can use in your presentations and that have the proper licenses so that you're respecting copyright and intellectual property. We're going to use Google Presentations for this, and I'm already in, but if you weren't in, you would want to type drive.google.com to get to Google Presentations, and, and you would need to log in, of course, if you weren't already logged in. I'm going to go ahead and click on Create, and I'm going to choose Presentation. And first thing it's going to do is ask me to choose a theme. And I always choose a simple theme, usually just the white background. Um, I like to focus on filling the screen with powerful images and a little bit of text. And I find that having other backgrounds often distracts from that. So I'm just using that. And I'm going to make my presentation on Hera. So I'm going to put that as the title. And I'm going to go ahead and put Hera as the title here also. And then actually I'm going to drag over this and highlight it. And notice now I'm going to go to Tools, Research. And that opens up this sidebar here in research mode and notice it went ahead and put Hera in for me if I but I could I could type something else but it just puts in what was highlighted and it's doing a, um, a Google search but I want to restrict it to images so I'm going to click here on images and then very importantly I'm going to click here and notice it's not filtered by license I'm going to um, click on the drop down and I'm going to choose free to use share or modify even commercially and what that's going to do is it's going to restrict the images that come up to those that have a Creative Commons license in other words a license with, in which the creator um, has specified that he or she is willing to let you use their mater the material as long as you give credit Sometimes there's other restrictions, like as to whether you can modify it, whether you can use it commercially. Um, and this is um, the most um, complete licensing. So by choosing this, um, free to sh use, share, or modify, um, even commercially, I know that everything that I find is going to be okay for me to use in my presentation. Um, it might also be public domain in which it either was never covered by copyright or no longer is. But most of the images are going to be Creative Commons. And I can scroll through and see what image I might want. But let's say I just want this first one. I When I click on it, it, bring, it gives me the, um, a little note about the source. And then if I want it, I drag it into my presentation usually takes a moment to process and then I probably am going to need to move it probably size it but look what happened it actually put um, the credit right down here and that's what I need to include in my in my presentation to give credit to the source you do want to check what the, the um, the link is and you might even want to visit that site to confirm because Google just takes what tags the tag says is the licensing that it says it's Creative Commons whereas someone might have uploaded it without actually having that right since it's from Wikimedia I'm going to assume it's okay and I'm going to actually drag over and highlight the whole thing because I actually want that link to appear in below the picture to give my credit. So then I, I, I copied using um, con, um, Command C on my Mac. Now I'm going to Command V, or on a PC I do Control um, V, and I'm going to paste it in, and I'm going to resize that text box. And, 
I can make it really small. I try and make it as small as I can and unobtrusive, but I do want people to see it. And I do want it to be a hyperlink so that the person, um, anyone viewing, could go to that link to see where it actually came from. So now I have my picture and my credit, and I'm good to go, and I can go on to create another slide, um, find another image. Um, there are other um, sites that you can use to find Creative Commons licensed images. One of my very favorites is Flickr. I'm going to type the name so you can see how it's spelled. It's like that. Um, it's a super site for finding Creative Commons images. But as you could see here, um, finding them through the Google search um, research tool in Google Presentations makes it really, really, really easy. So enjoy searching.